Boom! What's up guys? Financial Dan here, bringing you a video on both stocks and crypto. Because we're talking about Robinhood rolling out their crypto wallets. Let's get it! All right, so I got this email today uh, from Robinhood. Crypto wallets are coming. I instantly had to open it because it's what everyone's been complaining about with Robinhood lately regarding crypto. We've all heard the not your keys, not your crypto, um, basically referring to the fact that the cryptocurrency that you own on Robinhood, you cannot transfer to other wallets or whatnot. You have to instantly exchange it on Robinhood for money. Fees are less and the user interface in general just on Robinhood is great. Man, they've just been great about listening to the people, providing what the people want. The people have been wanting this and so now they're rolling it out and it's going to compete a bit with Coinbase in a way. You know, Robinhood's got a lot of users and like I said, just a great easy platform. Uh, in their interview with CNBC when they released this statement about offering these wallets, the reporter asked them several times and seemed to almost be maybe partly shaming them in a certain sense of gamifying investing, you know, because, you know, when you invest on Robinhood, you get some fireworks and whatnot, and it's just visually appealing. And I said, aren't you worried about that with crypto being, you know, so volatile? And I mean, yeah, but that's, that's the investor's own risk. You know, they take on that risk when they do that. I mean, they're making the decision to do it just like you can go on a gambling app or website and gamble. Robinhood actually responded that they are not trying to gamify anything. They're just providing ease of access, ease of use. It's a everyone is more of a visual learner now, and it's just part of the platform giving people what they want. Now, they emailed this today here. So it's pretty genius marketing, honestly, because you can join the wait list. And then if you invite friends, you move up the list, jump the list by half for every friend that you successfully invite to Robinhood. So like right now, I am number 439,408 on the list. So if I invite a friend successfully, I'll jump up into the 200,000s. Pretty smart, you know, trying to bring on people, more, more people on board. And taking a look just at Robinhood in general, I mean, you're looking at the user base look at 2015 there are half a million 1 million 2 million 6 million 10 million 13 million 18 million from 2020 to 2021 some pretty big growth everyone's you know in the covid dip and the stock dip and the stock craze and everything it's one of the easiest platforms and so many of the users millennials and whatnot really really enjoy it and then refer to other people and they talk about it at work like i did you know and everyone gets the app and talks about what they're investing and seeing what they can do and then a third here uh they're going to slowly roll this out it's kind of smart the way they're doing this and robin had talked about this in their interview with cnbc that crypto wallets can have security issues and so there's a lot of work that has to be done so they've released this statement i'm sure they've already done a lot of work on this already that it'll be in October where they're going to start to release this to people on the wait waiting list. And it'll be a small amount, almost like a bit of a beta and testing with a certain amount. And they'll get feedback from them. It's pretty smart. And make sure that they've got all, all their security and whatnot dialed in. Because crypto security stuff, as we all know, is risky. So they're doing that, which, which is smart. And I know I'm talking up Robinhood a whole bunch. And I know they did have a pretty big scandal and whatnot in the past and everything. So I'm aware of that. I know some people in the comments might be making comments about it. So it's in the past, but they did some pretty shady stuff. But they're, you know, business orientated. I'll, I'll say that. So right now, their business themselves on the market, you can see within the past week, boom, they've shot up 14% in the past week with most of that in the past day. Um, Coinbase, on the other hand, they actually in the past week have have dropped a bit, um, especially you know that news with with Robinhood being able to offer crypto wallets is competing directly against Coinbase. So that's 
kind of part of the reason on why they're not doing as hot as Robinhood. So I've given a bit of my spiel on Robinhood, their crypto wallets, where they're at and, and how it works and whatnot and when it's coming. I thought I would end this video with a bit of a short story on how I could have been a millionaire. So if we take a look here, so in the summer of 2019, I bought 327 Doge coins for 0 .003. Not sure if you can see that here or not. What did that mean up towards where its peak was or, or kind of high up where it was at? Well, at one point in time there, I was up 22,000%, up $222 from that $1. That means if I had invested 4,500-ish, I would have been a millionaire. And that would have been pretty friggin' awesome. But I'm definitely not. So to help make me feel better, hit the like button, subscribe, and stick around for more videos. Appreciate you guys. Peace out. <laughs>